The year is the year 2017 of the future. I'd been relaxing in my office following a routine cyberjacking investigation when a call came on my Netlink phone. Yo, this is freelance police detective John Murphy, P.I. What's the hat down? Murphy, it's the ice stent. I'm at the warehouses in the rift zone. Get your cyber ass down here pronto. What's the lowdown, stent? I'm catching up on some dank memes here. Murphy, just get down here. Receiver jangling in protest as I slammed it home. I pushed myself up from my neurofoam cyber chair. Right, time to go crime solve a crime. Hmm. Looks like the door has been mysteriously welded shut. Why does this keep happening? A note had been slipped under the now inoperable door. A note had been slid under the door, scrawled in dull ink on the back of an invoice for RAM or some other computery thing. It's from my secretary, Alice. Let's read. Dear Mr. Murphy, sorry to do this. I know you said you'd be able to pay me soon, but it's been 11 years now and I still haven't. Yada yada yada. Very kindly deposit what's owed me and I'll let you out. Regards, Alice. Hmm. P.S. The room is slowly filling with neurotoxin. The Urzatz apparatus towered in the corner, housing the semi-organic AI tasked with controlling the core functions of its operational area. I call him Winston. He turns the lights off for me when I leave the room. Yo, Winston! I'm going out. Want something? Oh, he's still mad at me for using him as a clothes horse. I'll get you a Calippo! The latest from Sinai Industries allows you to input text straight onto hard copy, eliminating the need for shaking the printer's toner cartridge when it's nearly empty. The ribbon was dry. A cheap rendition of pre-techno cataclysm Earth. Casually, I leaned upon the globe, fell over as it spun beneath my hand, and quickly stood up again. Old furniture, left by previous occupants. The drawers are just painted on, dude! It's Button, the lovable Robopup! Chip, chip! I love you, Papa! Chased a cyber disk right into an oncoming hover lorry! When you fix me, we'll have oh so much fun! Chip, chip! I keep him around for spare parts. Chip, chip! Papa, are you going to repair me now? Yeah, nah. Not really feeling it, you know? The Bruner Holweg device. A critical component for any self-respecting cyber detective. By utilizing a high-focus stern-off beam, it achieves military-grade spectrum accuracy. It makes breakfast pastries! I don't have any mission-critical material to input into the Brunner Holvig device. I bought this as a present for D.I. Stent one time. Turns out he didn't want a desk plaque engraved with my name, so he let me keep it. It's been stuck to the desk since I spilled that mega juice all over the place. Anyway, if I take it, no one will know what my name is. Standard service key deck, an array of cherry brown clickety clackers, sitting there, refusing to type out my reports. No time for memeing the W's now. I got a case to solve. My desk's made of synthwood, so it's completely fireproof. Which kind of sucks, because now I can't burn it for the insurance money. Ain't been able to get in my desk since I glued the drawers shut. Cutting edge tech from Neo-Quebec, allowing interlocational comms. Linear waves translated to electrical impulse by induction coil, transported over T-wire via interchange. No dice. By the time help arrived, my lungs would be bleeding out of my eye holes. A recent case file sat upon the desk. I had no use for old case files. The screen array hummed, pumping out retina-frying cathode rays. No time for memeing the W's now! I got a case to solve! An old slackbot head sat on the cabinet, 
stripped of parts. The empty skull of the slackbot held no more usable parts. State-of-the-art data retrieval system. Aluminum with a wild oats finish. Its administrative hulk glowered from the corner. I preferred to keep my files scattered over the floor and desk. Green plastic sprouting from gray synthodirt. The synthetic plant had no need of human comfort. My trusty Cyberjack! It's where I boogie board the meme waves! No time for memeing the W's now! I got a case to solve! Boxes of old case files sat moldering on the floor. I had no use for old case files. Boxes of old case files... My bed most nights! Since Karu kicked me out, lol! I ran my hand down the back of the couch. An old Jolly Rancher, exterior thick with grit and old bits of hair. Devouring the candy, I returned to the task at hand. The first dollar I ever made. I remember the case well. I was in the third grade. Mr. Boise, the janitor, had lost his teeth. I found them for him in the gym being used as a hockey puck. He offered to give me a dollar as a reward. It was at that moment when I knew I had discovered my calling. I never moved the wall hangings. They hide the mac and cheese stains, lol! From the hat rack hung my standard issue service fedora. I kept the dusty headpiece around to remember Milady by, but I'd never wear it again. The sky above the port was the color of television, tuned to a dead channel. Windy yesterday! I think the antenna blew over. Yeah! Out the window! Good thinking, me! Only, here in the future, windows aren't made to be opened. Bio-wasps and all that. I could just smash it with a big-ass brick. Yep, yep. Alpha, be careful. Damage to building exterior may prompt a fine of up to 10,000 Neo Tuppence. Say... How much does your head weigh? Yep, yep. Exactly 2.7 kilo- In bricks. In bricks? Um, approximately one? You're coming with me, my brick-sized friend! Thank you, Papa. I can't wait until I'm fully functional again. Yep, yep. Yeah, sure. Hey there, Button! Yep, yep. Let's play a game! Oh boy, oh boy! Yep, yep. Fetch! Shards of glass twinkle in the polluted air as they race Button's head unit to the cyber street below. Stepping out onto the windowsill, I hailed a hover taxi, because it's the future. Minutes later, I stepped into the scene. stench of fresh solder and stale street ramen. Reminder that I'd missed another meal. Yo, dudes! Good, you here. You know Detective Cop Franklin McJuice. He'll show you around the scene. Murphy? Juice? No thanks. I'm not thirsty. I was referring, of course, to his name, not offering a tasty beverage. Some might laugh at a hilarious back and forth like this, but this is the future and laughter ain't gonna stop the net lords distributing their psi drugs to your space kids. Also, all laughter is banned. Look, Murphy, there's been a bad murder killing. I'll take it to the body. Oh, and Murphy, hope you skip breakfast. It's like a bad day at a jam factory in there, and I ain't talking marmalade. Unless it was particularly red and bloody looking marmalade. Well, get your ass in there. I'm staying here to keep the plebs out. Holy shitballs, dudes! What happened to that guy, man? Where's his face? And organs? At first we thought he was rifting in here, and rifted so hard his head exploded off its neck hole like some sort of spaceship, I guess. But then we thought, no. 
This has all the hallmarks of a murder gone deadly. A couple of kids found him in here about an hour ago. They thought it was some sort of voxel game and were dressing up in the dead guy's guts like a pack of gut wearers. What a sick age we live in. Two kids, you say? Yeah, one's bad enough, but not a... you know... Pear juice? No thanks, I'm not thirsty. Okay, okay. What sort of clues have we found? This kind of thing's gotta have clues. Can't get close. The whole bloody puddle's gone electric. Have a look around, though. By all means. Detective cop Franklin McJuice watches over the scene, beady eyes twinkling in the dim light. Juice! Yeah, Murphy? Any ideas how I can cut off the supply to this room? The supply of what? Juice! Yeah, Murphy? What? Any ideas how I can cut off the supply to this room? Yeah, I heard you. The supply of what? Juice! Oh, um... Electricity! Ah, yes. Well, I've called it in. The city's going to send a crew to disable it. We'll just have to sit tight for now. A body lies slumped in the corner. I can't reach it without doing that thing where you flash black and white and you can see my skeleton! Lake of plasma and hemoglobin, lit up periodically by sparks from a down cable. Yeah, now, I value my non-electrocuted life. Heavy axe dripping with gore, lodged in the side of a wooden crate. Neato! A bloody murder weapon! I'd better take it as evidence. Evidence that I am the owner of one sweet axe! The startlingly boring crate loomed boringly. Don't know what to say about it. The panel's bolted on with, like, bolts or something. I can't get it open. Woohoo! Oh, lizard! That should take care of the power inside! <laughs> the door slammed shut! When did that happen? Hey, get me out of here! It's pitch black! No biggie, Juice! I'll just lift it back up again! Hurry! I can't breathe in here! I struggled with the heavy door, manly biceps flexing like a wobbly trifle. Yeah, that's not happening! Give us a hand, Juice! I can't see! It's pitch black and I'll... Step on something! I think there's something moving in here! <laughs> LOL! It's said to help! Jeez, relax already! I'm taking care of it! I'm not sticking my hand in a mess of smashed up wires! LOL! Crash drone copter lay abandoned in the street. Air traffic had given up on tracking unmanned aircraft years ago. Wiping out a drone was almost considered a public service. Bloody sky spam! Looks like it's been stripped of parts already. D.I. Stent. Murderside Division. He calls on my expert assistance from time to time with interesting cases. You're blackmailing me to keep you in the loop. He's keeping out potential onlookers. All right, Stent. Murphy. Think you could lift that door over there? Sure, I could, but I have to maintain the perimeter. Can't have random members of the public stepping into the scene. Couldn't I do that? It's not that I don't trust you, but, uh... Okay, I don't trust you. I ain't never seen you stand still for more than 12 seconds. Murphy! Sorry, what? I thought I saw a cute puppy chasing its own tail, but it was just a bit of empty space. LOL! Find something else to warn people away, and I'll help you out. Police tape was strung up around the scene. Colored polymer warding away traffic. That tape sure looks shiny. Delilah's beard, Murphy. Leave that alone. If I had some tape to spare, I'd have put it all the way around and wouldn't be standing here like a chump warding off foot traffic. What foot traffic? Potential foot traffic. What ifs? I clambered into the taxi, yelling the address of my office over blown speakers that screeched out distorted Bali dub. <laughs> Thank you.
Looks like a maintenance drone's fixing my busted up window. Say, that sign on his head looks like it could be useful. Hey, little dude, what you up to? Repairs to residential superstructure. Cool, cool. Say, I like your hat. I could use a sweet flashing sign. Mind if I borrow? Interfering with city maintenance is punishable by mandatory reality television participation. Can't reach him out there anyway. The Urzat's apparatus towered in the corner, housing the semi-organic AI tasked with controlling the core functions of its operational area. I call him Winston. He turns the lights off for me when I leave the room. Hey, Winston! Baby! Feel like telling that maintenance drone to get in here? Are you sulking again? Sure, you're a sentient AI with nothing to do but turn the lights on and off in one room, but it could be worse! The... uh... globe could blow? I... I guess? Is it murder if it's only a semi-organic AI? <laughs> only one way to find out! <laughs> Didn't feel like murder. Hey, little dude! Come in here where I can mess with... I mean, help you! Conferring with Central Intelligence. Relocating for priority repair. My god, you poor thing. Do not worry, I will have you fixed up in no time. He's come inside to help out poor Winston. So, can I get you a cup of tea or anything? Interfering with city maintenance is punishable, but... Yeah, yeah. Yo, mind if I ask you a question? <laughs> My god! What have I done? My poor, poor axe! Maybe I'll roll him out the window later. Jerk broke my axe! The drone's toolbox lay forgotten on the floor. Rummaging through the toolbox, I took the only tool usable by human hands. A hefty power wrench. Flashing neon on a retractable pole subtly instructing its viewers to Beware! There's something to beware of here! The caution sign was totally baller, with its sweet flashing lights and stuff, so I took it with me. <laughs> D.I. Stent! Murder side division. He calls on my your bl He's keeping it. All right, Stent. Murphy. Think you could lift that door over there? Sure, I could, but I have to maintain the perimeter. Can't have random members of the public stepping into the scene. Find something else to warn people away, and I'll help you out. Check it out, Stent! An inanimate object can do your job! Can an inanimate object kick your ass, Murphy? Probably! Alright, Stent! Murphy! Think you could lift that door over there? Yeah, let's give it a go! Gah! Moses, mother of Christ! That thing is heavy! Find something to prop it up, will ya? Yo! Lift that door up and I'll jam it with this power wrench! Right! Alright! Let's get in there so I can do some private dicking! I told you never to say that! Gene the Baptist, that guy's a mess! I know, right? Horrifying! And then, there's this murder scene! <laughs> yes, very funny, Murphy. In the future, barrels had advanced to the point where they hardly ever exploded when you shot them anymore, making their inclusion in video games even more contrived. Eh, yeah, looks heavy and uninteresting. Power board, hijacked by rifters. Wires poured from it like entrails from a dying triceratops. Metal arteries no longer humming with power. I'm not messing with the wiring, even with the power out! Body parts of multiple victims are scattered around the scene. 
I don't think there's any good bits worth taking. They're all second-rate cuts. A body lies slumped in the corner. Careful to avoid getting blood on my Blizz trench coat, I rifled through the victim's pockets. What's this? Matchbook. Logo of a local Cyberoki joint printed on the front. Hmm. Interesting. Some kind of clue, I guess. I slipped it into my pocket for later examination. Don't know I what to say about it. I flipped open the matchbook. It. A single name scrawled inside. Zenice. Like Denise. With an X. Because it's the future. What the hell? <laughs> Ow! Wait a sec, this guy ain't dead. Oh shit, me man! What's this guy's deal? That ain't no guy, man. That's a damn slackbot, dude! An AI android? Here? In the future? But if it's a slackbot, what's with all the guts and smashed up insides every which where by God? I'm a crazed AI killing machine on a murder death spree. Take a look at me. Well, this just won't do at all. I guess we better take him downtown. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute first, you guys. Grab him, Juice! I'm more the passive-aggressive type when it comes to confrontation. Stent, can you grab him? Don't think I could take the slackbot barehanded. Don't have a weapon handy, do you? Something to club him with? Pain, arcing hot lightning through aching muscles. I made a grab for the power wrench. Get him, Stent! Cleave his head in with this baby! Can't see a damn thing. Where is the mechanical bastard? Oh, feck, he's got an elect gun! There you are! That stopped him. Everyone okay? It's dark as a rifter's ass in here. I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. Oh my damn, dudes! Juice has been juiced! Sweet Lady Buddha, you okay? Ah, me insides. They're bleeding out of me like... Like... Juice? I kind of like that. Oh, it's all going hazy. Hang in there, dude. You ain't lulled your last meme yet. No, that's it for me. Everything's gone all neon. Like a Galway sunset. All yellowy red. What's the word? Orange juice? No, thanks. I'm not... I knew then that this would be no simple case of Cyberjack Jenny's hooch and junk on the Futu reel. Things had gotten real dank, real fast. Well, another case successfully wrapped up. Boy, could really go for some juice right now. <laughs>